Hey everyone, it's Avelina Damore here, welcome back to my channel. I got so much positive feedback on my makeup look which was in the unboxing um, of all the handbags that I did which got abruptly cut short, I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, I thought I would do a little get ready with me today slash tutorial slash you watch me do my makeup, whatever the hell you want to call it, on this look. I'm really happy with it, I think it works for me quite well. So yeah, if you like this, keep watching and I will see you at the end. Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to talk through this. I'm using the Illamasqua Hydro Veil Primer. Honestly, I don't like this very much. It's too thin. I've recently changed to Urban Decays and I love it. Love, love, love it. Next, I've got Clinique and Stargazer in white. So I was mixing these two together um, to make the color that suits my skin tone. I'm not making my skin whiter. I'm just needing that little bit of extra white because I am so pale. Currently I've switched to using Kat Von D's, oh, I'd have to look it up, I don't know, I think it's like the third lightest colour. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you without looking at it, the point is um, I am preferring that to what I've done in this video, but anyway, <laughs> that is what I've done, so we'll talk about that. Here I'm just using a beauty blender, I got this for like two dollars on eBay and I was like, yeah, it's, it's good. I, I think it's better than a brush. It doesn't leave the brush marks. But when I was in America recently, I bought a real one. <laughs> and what a fucking difference. Holy shit. Um, yeah, so if you have one of those knockoff ones on eBay, I would highly recommend you buying a proper one. <laughs> there will be a massive difference. So yeah, I find I change how I put on my foundation from day to day. Sometimes I'll put concealer on my eyes, on my nose, on my chin first, and then I'll go over the top. If I don't feel like my skin needs concealer, I'll just do foundation. And even with this sped up 200%, it's still fucking really slow, isn't it? Putting the shit on my face. Oh god, the forehead. <laughs> it's like I've... I've I like how my face looks with the bangs. It's been like 15 years and I can't get over my face without that. Has anyone else experienced that? Anyway, there we go. Thumbs up. Now I'm using, what am I using? Matte, Matte Maker by Maybelline. Oh, just to set everything that I put on. I am tired, sorry. This is like the worst narration in the world. Setting the whole face, that is a really important step. Um, I didn't used to do that, so if you're new to makeup, <laughs> do that. I'm just putting something on my lips for now because I think I look quite dead. So that is a, um, that's actually the lipstick from the Death Candy Duo by Vinyl. Vinyl Cosmetics. How cool are my earrings, hey? They're so dope. Oh, skipping ahead, so I brushed up my eyebrows, now I'm using Wonder Brow in Jet Black. I'm really enjoying this. I think I struggled a bit today in this video if you're watching. I'm kind of going over the same thing 50 times and I have sped it up like 300%. <laughs> so you don't have to endure what I went through in real time. But the point is, um, you can see that it's the container is like a mascara and when um, it's out in the open it does dry really quickly so I kind of need to open and close it I think each time I use it. I'm really happy with the consistency of this. I've been wanting to use the Pompeii or whatever it's called by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. A lot of people always talk about her stuff but I'm happy with this for now. And it was a lot better and um, more precise looking than what I was doing before which was just dipping a a wet angled brush into a dark eyeshadow and it it wasn't it didn't come to a sharp chiseled point at the end of my brow um yeah so if you haven't tried it i recommend trying it back to the earrings they were um or they are <laughs> from wonderland mc go and check them out i will have an upcoming video as the lovely um, owner sent me a whole bunch of lovely stuff from their brand. You might have seen uh, Black Friday wear their stuff quite a little bit. They've got some really nice stuff. So here I'm just artificially raising the arch because like my eyebrows are straight. <laughs> uh, giving the illusion of an arch. 
There we go, that's looking better. So now I'm using Urban Decay's Priming Potion. Eyeshadow Priming Potion, I should say. It is incredibly difficult to get that on with long nails, seriously. There's so many things you can't do. <laughs> but they look cool, so I'm top on. This is Kat Von D's uh, Locket Concealer in L1 Neutral. I think it's the lightest one. I, it's too light. I should have gone a shade darker. But I like, yes, I see that little dot. I will fix that up. Dang it. Um, yeah, I like to put this under my brow and on the other side of my brow to just really define the arch. I haven't mastered it yet. And obviously I'm going to smooth that. <laughs> Blend that out a little bit because that looks ridiculous. Sometimes I won't use the Urban Decay Bribing Potion. Excuse me. Oh my god, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm falling asleep. Um, sometimes I will just do this entire step on my eyelid with uh, concealer. I find it works just as well. So if you don't have the priming potion, don't worry about it. If you've got a concealer, try using that. So here is the star of the day, Lime Crime Venus Palette. It is, I believe, the number one because there's like Venus one, Venus two. Um, so let's open this palette up and I will tell you what color I'm putting on right now, which is Aura. It's like a light kind of glimmery champagne color. So I'm just putting that under the brow bone to act as my lighter shade and then in the crease of the eye there. Thank god this is fast forwarded. Oh, I love that that um, spider ring. It broke. I have to glue it back on, but yeah. It was like five dollars. I bought it secondhand off Depop <laughs> from someone who ended up knowing me. Like a subscriber on my channel. It was so freaky. But nice, it was nice. <laughs> it wasn't just freaky. It was just like, oh, that's, that's cool. It's going under the eye bit. That's what really made it pop. And when you use flash photography, that little bit of glitter there looks really nice. So now I'm just going into the Metal Matte Cap on D palette. Oh my god, the drama with the vaccinations. I'm so sick of hearing about it. I'm going to stay the fuck out of that. But yeah, this is linen just to make that under the brow bone pop a little bit more and now we're going back into the lime chrome palette to start oh yeah i've got so many colors so this color is called rebirth i don't even know how to explain what kind of color that is it is so vibrant in the video it's it's an orange but it's earthy it's like an australian red rock color um it's probably popping a bit more than it is in person or it's popping more in this video than it is in person which is what i mean anyway i really like this palette i find i come back to it and it's really smooth dare i say it's smoother than a lot of the, a lot of the Kat Von D palettes i've got i find it's super pigmented and it's just so smooth really nice stuff blends really easily so now i'm just taking that that color up higher blending that up Going under the eyes as well and just going nuts. Generally just going nuts. <laughs> uh, making it look like I'm not drawing on a crayon on my face. A lot of blending happening here. Now we're going up to Venus. I think we just missed a step. I may have like yeah not been looking at the <laughs> This is the worst narration ever. I, yeah, I may have not. I may have. It's, it doesn't matter. If you've got the palette, just like rewatch the video. But now I'm going to Venus. And we're going to do the, the crease, the V, the corner of the eye, whatever you want to call it. Just darkening up that. The outer crease there. I know what a lot of people tell me because I have such small eyes, I should open up my lids more, but. I don't like doing that all the time. I like this dramatic look. But it's definitely something I will try in a, a video next, maybe. So that's really starting to pop now, the Venus. Very vibrant, just bringing that up higher. Now we're going into Muse. There we go. So this is, this is a lot darker. This is the second darkest color in this palette. Just enhancing that outer crease even more and I'm using I think I'm I don't know if I change brushes <laughs> probably not I just start from the lighter color and then go to black and then wash them once a year that'll be fine 
don't like being too precious about that stuff. Although it is a bitch when you forget that you've last used red and then you go into like a light color. <laughs> Not that organized. So that's starting to look qu quite acceptable. Quite vampy. Mm -hmm. I am pleased. Still need to go up a little higher. <sighs> okay, now mascara. Oh, the focusing on this camera. So this is Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. There is no mascara on the market that does like the final result result looks like fake eyelashes. That is just crap. I still find it very difficult to separate my bottom lashes without getting big clumps of mascara everywhere. <sighs> Whatever. It's just, it's going to stay like that. This is a... <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to call this a tutorial. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's how I do my eyeliner for those that are interested. I am using Inglots. I did... Oh, why didn't I bring it with me? They're, yeah, they're like, they've got a liner. A gel liner in black. It's very nice. It's my favorite liner. It is so black. It. Um, I used to use MAC before this, and this... this is so much better. If you were using MAC, change to this. I was using Maybelline as well. Their stuff really dried out. This this is just so black. It stays in place as well. If you just put it on without a primer, without any like eyeshadow as a base or something, and you're just putting it straight to your eyelids, yeah, like that's not gonna work. But um, with all the prep that I've done, it it stays really really clean. I still struggle with the shape of my liner. Um, I'm trying to experiment with with different uh, shapes and you know applications, way to put it on. I've tried it with the the very fine uh, pointy brush that has like two or three hairs, and I don't like that as much. Um, I did recently do a lot of liquid eyeliner with the little pointed felt tip, um, but I've come back to a very tight angled brush and the gel. But yeah, I'm still not crazy happy with the shape. I do find that I do the same shape all the time and it wasn't until I went to America recently that um, my friend that I met up with in Hollywood, Maku Gale, suggested a different shape and um, that, yeah, I think I'll put that video up in, a, in the weeks to come. I haven't edited it yet. Um, at first I didn't like the shape and then when I took her advice and redid it myself, I'm like, hmm, I can see what you're saying here. And I think it um, actually suited my face more. So this is how I do it now <laughs> um or back then and yeah very soon we might have a new look so that's it's looking all right okay now we are up to falsies fake lashes so i've put my duo glue on i am blowing that for about 30 seconds just to make sure that it's quite dry before or tacky before i go to put them on not dry <laughs> that would be stupid yeah so you see me very quickly using a tweezer there to push down, blow, blow, blow. Oh my god, keep blowing. Keep going. Yeah, you'll see on this side, I'm placing it down and then I'm clamping it with the tweezer quite a few times. One, two, three. And then I will push the lashes up so they appear longer. Little trick I found works for me. Might work for you, might not. There we go. So that's almost the finished look. Much better with lashes. Yes, I agree. So this is a moat by MAC. This is the color blush that I use. Uh, it is a blush. I use it as a contour. I don't use blush, but maybe I should. Higher up on the cheek or go contour blush highlight. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> I wish there was another way to do that without making that stupid face. Okay, we are nearly at the end of this process. Gosh, it takes a long time. Yeah, that took forever. <laughs> okay, now I'm using Inglot. This is just their sparkling dust. They have it in a variety of shades. This was just the lightest one that they had. And it is not showing up heaps in this video, but it does in, um, in my photos with the flash. You really see it. I'm starting to contour my nose a little bit. Just a little bit on the, the tip and my chin. 
Cupid's bow just a tiny little bit um, oh yeah I'm liking how that looks okay so this is lime crime this is my favorite red ever red velvet I bought this ages ago and I feel like they in between me restocking um, my two red velvets they changed their formula one was thicker and the one that I have now the newer one is thinner um, it stays on it's a great formula but it, because it's so thin I feel it's a little tricky to get on like it's not very forgiving um, if you make a mistake so I'm just really taking my time here you cannot be in a rush with this year formula but it's just such a stunning red I'm in love with the rest of the warm tones in this look I think it just really makes it pop look at that and we are at the end of our tutorial <laughs> Thank you again for watching i hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial remember to comment down below i love that my channel is a really uh positive environment i feel that's really important to me and a lot of my fans um, most recently crystal hey crystal just sent me a really nice message just saying that she enjoys the content that i'm making but not only that but that i seem to emit like a positive aura or vibe or whatever i think that's really important there's a lot of negativity in the world and nobody needs more negativity we need to make love not war <laughs> so it was really lovely for me to hear that and when i read your comments as well it makes me feel warm and fuzzy so i'm glad that i do the same for you guys please like this video subscribe if you haven't already and share the video let's try to get me to 10,000. oh my god I can't believe my instagram is almost on 10,000 as well i've been so looking forward to having that bloody k behind my name and i think i'm only about 120 away from that so yay <laughs> I'm just going to film a whole bunch of launch videos um, on the handbags and wallets and stuff that have come in. So I should have a lot of new content on my channel very soon. In between the next video, please head on over to Instagram. I post a lot of content there. I try to post daily, sometimes bi-daily. And I've got a lot of stories as well where I, I share little cute moments with my kids and my family and house renovations and stuff. So if you want to see what's going on in my world, that is really the best way to see what I've been doing. So until next time, see you later.